welcome you guys thank you guys for coming back and watching my video thank you guys so much for joining the family for those who are new to this channel this is a girl Shaliva Monique don't forget to subscribe to this channel smash the like button comment and let your friends know about this video okay Okay, you guys, let's jump right into this video. So I know you guys are probably wondering, what does she have on her face? Um, the white stuff I have on my face is called Milk of Magnesium. I applied it on my face to see if it's going to help with my excessive oily skin because I, I have really, really oily skin. And no matter the type of foundation I use, the oil still, for some reason, seems to seep through. So I'm going to try this makeup hack to see if that's going to help me. This is my first time applying it to my skin. And so far, I feel like it's going to work. Yeah, I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Okay, so I went ahead and start um, cleaning up my eyebrows. I use a really lighter shade concealer under my eyes. And then I'm going with my concealer that is matching um, my skin tone on top of my eyebrows so that's what i'm doing take a sip of wine at the same time and we're just gonna go ahead and clean up these eyebrows um i went ahead and did it off camera because you know the, doing your eyebrows can be a little tedious so i went ahead and did that off camera so right now i'm just fading in the beginning of my eyebrows to give it that ombre effect so I went in with a flat brush and with no concealer on that brush. And I go ahead and just cleaned up the beginning of my eyebrows to give it that ombre effect. So that's what I'm doing right here, you guys. And let me tell you, if you guys don't see this frontal, you all are joking. This frontal is giving natural hairline. Like, I'm thinking that's my hair. It's so nice. So I'm going to talk about the frontal in a few after we get through cleaning up these eyebrows. So I'm now getting to apply some setting powder on my eyelids just to avoid that creasing of my concealer so I'm putting some setting powder just to set that and to not um, give that cakey look oh the wine is so good I'm drinking um, Pinot Grigio wine that's my favorite wine I'm now going to go in with my base color it's like a brown orange looking color for my base um, eyeshadow this is going to be, because I'm going to try and do a cat cut crease. So that's what I'm going to do for this look. And it's going to be doing with yellow. So I'm super excited about this color that I'm getting ready to try. So I haven't really done anything like this in a long time. I normally will keep it just simple and basic and like a day look. But I'm really stepping outside the box with this one which i do sometimes you know from time to time i will you know jump out there and try different colors but i'm really starting to play with different colors and see what it will looks like look like on me and yeah i think i'm liking it so far you guys it's really really giving my eyes a different shape so let's go ahead and take a look and see how i did that So here I'm going to slow it down for you guys so you guys could see how I outline my cut crease with my concealer. So I'm using um, the NYX concealer. It's like tree shade lighter than my skin tone. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm just outlining my cut crease. So you guys, I'm really liking that. Boom, you guys see that? Do you guys see that? I know you guys see that, but that is giving fire, and I am all here for it. 
guys let's go ahead and speed this on up so you guys could see so all i'm doing right now is just blending 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 i'm putting a little darker color on my outer lids and now i'm just blending the, all the colors together so it doesn't look like there's any line of demarcation so just go ahead and blend 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 that's gonna be your best friend you just keep blending that's what makes your eyeshadow pops now I'm going in with my SO liquid eyeliner I'm about to do this cat eye it's never one of my favorite look but I'm starting to fall in love with it so I just think it gives my eyes a different shape so I'm all here for it so I'm loving it you guys guys enough of my celebration i am now getting ready to put on my foundation this is my nars foundation i'm lo i love the nars foundation it's the matte foundation for oily skin so now i am going to go ahead and blend that in and see how well my milk of magnesium goes in with my makeup but you guys you guys could see that already it's gonna get so matte just wait and see the result it's gonna be so mad it's like unbelievable i am in love with it i think this is now my favorite thing to do when applying my makeup 
It's going to be some milk and magnesium. So I'm just blending this right here. But let's talk about this frontal, you guys. So this is a 13 by 4 frontal. And it's a frontal wig. But I went ahead and add two more bundles into the wig because... I'm a girl that likes full hair. My hair got to be full and big. And right now, this is a little bit on the thin side for me. Although I add two bundles into 180 density wig, it is still not full enough for me, but it will work for now. But when I remove this wig, I'm going to apply two more bundles to it. So you guys going to see how full it is at the end, or you guys can see at the beginning of the video how full it is. But I like my to be a lot fuller like I just love big hair so that's why I'm doing that but man when I'm telling you this frontal is giving me life this frontal looks like my natural hairline and the color I made those colors I went ahead and applied give myself some um, color I really don't do color that often but I wanted to step out there and try different things so this year it's all for me trying new things and new color and look at that hairline baby look at the hairline so i'm just blending in my foundation into my hairline so it all blends into one so it's now contouring time concealing time so I'm concealing on my under eyes. I'm going in with a shade. That is the exact color of my skin tone. And then I'm going to go over with the concealer that is three times my shade. A little bit, not that much. So I'm basically blending them together to give it a more realistic look. So that's what I'm doing. So now you're going to see me go in now with a little bit of the concealer that is a three times my shade and then I'm gonna blend all those together so I don't go too crazy with the concealer because I don't like it I like it to be very minimal I like more I will go more overboard with the contouring instead of the concealer so I'm now going in with my bronzer And that's what I'm doing. I'm keeping it very light. I'm not trying to do too dark of a bronzer. Not tonight. Not tonight. I'm going to keep it very nice and modest. That's the look I'm going for with my contouring. So I'm just getting ready. Um, tonight I'm getting ready for a photo shoot. So that's why I'm doing my hair and my makeup. Because I'm getting ready to do a photo shoot. But I don't think it will be a photo shoot that I could post the pictures. It's one of those. So, yeah. I might post a headshot. So, I'm now going in and start blending those together. And if you could see where I'm keeping it, that's the kind of shape I like. I like to keep it right in the center of my face. I try not to take it too far out because of my face shape and how it works for me. So I'm going to let you guys watch me just blend, 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 speed it up. I'm going to be running my mouth and all, but I'm just going to let this blend, blend. Oh, baby. Yeah, she is serving. Now I'm doing my contouring my nose. As you guys could see, that nose is getting snatched, baby.
so i'm now gonna go in a little bit more intense with my bronzer to give it a bigger not a bigger more of a wider look to my contouring okay, that's what i like i like colors i gotta put some color back into the skin but i am loving my makeup so i'm gonna go ahead and just speed this up yes feel it feel it feel the makeup i'm doing my little touch-ups now i am now setting so i'm using my laura mercier setting powder and i'm going i don't bake i just set my face so that's what i like to do let me tell you guys i am in i'm loving this milk of magnesium my face looks so smooth and matte it's just a matter to see if the oil is still going to seep through but i think it's, it's doing good it's doing good I might have to drop another video for you guys, letting you guys know how well that makeup hold up. But it's looking good, guys. It's looking good. So I'm now going to go in with my finishing powder from um, Fenty. And I'm airbrushing it all over to blend everything in. I'm just going to blend, blend, blend. So I'm now going to apply my under eye eyeliner and I'm, as you can see, I'm using my blending brush to help me hold my eyelids open because your finger, you normally leave like an imprint and I don't want to smear my setting powder. So that's why I use my blending brush. So I'm just going to go ahead and start applying my eyeshadow that i applied on top of my eyelid i'm now putting it under so the same two color that i use on top i'm going to apply them underneath in the bottom and they're looking good you guys looking good gorgeous So right here, I'm getting ready to apply a little bit of shimmer in my cut crease. So some gold shimmer I'm applying right in my cut crease. Just to make it pop a little bit more. Do you guys see that? Do you guys see that? Yeah, she is giving life. That's right. I'm here I'm now applying some blush which is my favorite part of the makeup I love when that color go back into my face and of course you could see I love it I celebrate all the time now I'm getting ready to focus on my lips I'm going to now out outline it another thing that I'm starting to get into is the liner lip liners I was never a big fan of lining my lips or a fan of lipstick i normally don't use lipstick i will normally just use lip gloss because for some reason after two minutes it disappear 
It doesn't matter which one it is. It's going to disappear because I have a habit of keep licking my lips. But I'm going ahead with this MAC lipstick. I don't know the name of it offhand. But um, I will link, put all the products in the description box below. But it's beautiful. If you guys want to see me do a more slower depth of makeup, installing my makeup and all the products and names of all the products and stuff I use, just drop it in the comment below and I will definitely do a more detailed makeup video. I'm now going into my hair. Look at that. The color is, I'm in love with that color. Love it, love it, love it. And the frontal baby is giving me life like what frontal what lace where is the lace don't see it <laughs> don't come for your girl and you see that hair is not full enough and i had to add two bundles to that wig and it's still not full enough for me i needed two more i need two more for sure but i might just leave it like that and when i get another wig i'm just gonna add more bundles to it because a girl cannot wear a wig that small like mm -mm. she need more so here I'm, I'm now working on my baby hair and it's gonna take away my a little bit of my contouring but I will just apply that back later on in the video so I'm just focusing on my baby hairs not much because I'm not a fan of a lot of baby hair I'll do the bare minimal and then I'm gonna curl my hair and finish off this video so I could go do my photo shoot so I want to thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and for watching this video and I'll be dropping some more videos like this
I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and come back again and click on this video anytime. Don't forget to subscribe to your girl's so channel. So this is the final result, you guys. And I am in love with it.